Okay, as some of you may or may not know, uh, underneath our folders uh, var log oops, forward slash log, if I could type today, um, we can tail out or cat out, whatever you want. I'm going to tail out. Uh, there's a bunch of files in here, basically just all log files. Uh, we'll log out message log, which just gives you uh, messages on happenings on your computer. We'll tail it out, so we'll get the last 10 lines of that file. So there you are. Um, so easy to read, but we can make it better. Better, We can make it easier to read uh, using a program called ColorTail. Uh, it's not installed by default on all systems, uh, but you should easily be able to uh, aptitude install, be sudo aptitude install color tail just like that you hit enter type in your password let it install once it's installed you use it just like you would normally tail so here's our our command for tail all we have to do is say color tail and you'll see it gives the same output but color codes it making it easier to read it also has other options such as dash f which continues to monitor that file real time. So let's say I unplug my printer. One second. Right there, right away, you can see that I unplugged my HP printer, my PhotoSmart C55 series printer. Uh, let me plug something else in. I'll plug in a, uh, a Bluetooth adapter. Give it a second to detect it. And there you go. You can see that it found a USB device. Uh, let me plug in something else. I'll plug in my uh, flip camera here. I'll give it a second to detect it. And there you go. You can see we can close this little window out. That uh, it found it. It attached it. You know, high speed USB device, USB storage. Uh, that it's a video camcorder, and it's all color-coded. You can see what user uh, and what time and day and all the different stuff, all nicely color-coded. So that is, uh, and you hit Control-C to kill out of that, tail or color tail. Uh, there are other options. Uh, I basically just use those, you know, without the F and with the F. Uh, there's other, you can use... Uh, dash K and a config file, which I've never done, but you can configure and change how it color codes stuff. So go ahead, play with that. But uh, just by default, uh, color tail and the file you want to tail out and it will color code it for you. And if you add the dash F, it will continuously watch that file for updates. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. Please visit filmsbychris.com. There's links in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.